Hey everyone, it's Ty Warner. It's been a while. It's a new video. Some people are asking about uh, root diameter tolerancing and how this works in Kiss Soft. Maybe some two thickness adjustments and what that does to root diameter and why it does it to root diameter. It goes back to profile shift and how gears are manufactured. So in Kiss Soft, there's a couple different ways. We can design gears. We can design gears using standard cutters, um, hobs. We can use shapers. We can use uh, you know wire erosion, EDM. We can do a constructed involute, which does not basically uh, rely on any kind of tool path, that kind of thing. And in here, uh, probably the first thing that we need to talk about is is in, in your gear, if I just open up a single gear, this is Kiss Off 22, by the way. You can see if I if I put a a 12 tooth gear in here and give it a you know, maybe an eight millimeter face width, there's zero profile shift, and when I run this, you can see I get an undercut, right? And you even saw that I got a warning. If I run it again, I'll get that warning. It tells me undercut gear one, increased profile shift coefficient to some number, 4336, right? What it's telling us is that when we increase the profile shift, it's going to pull the cutter back out of the blank or out of the gear blank, okay? So the cutter is going to come out. And when it does that, if I just go ahead and I'm going to save this, this uh, tooth form, give it a dash line and thickness of one. It's red. You can see it's right there. But if I if I change this to 0.4336 right here in this profile shift, 0 0.4336, it moves the cutter out. And the new tooth form you can see is in this blue uh, tooth form. And now there's no undercut. I didn't get a warning. I'll run it again. No warning. No undercut. Uh, this gear we would say is is uh, desirable. The profile looks pretty nice. It looks okay. But now look, you have, we didn't change anything in the profile reference, okay? And we didn't change anything with manufacturing. All this stuff, all we did was we put a profile shift. And when we do that, it changes the the uh, the root diameter and the tip diameter, okay. One of the things we can do in Kiss Off, I take this back to zero, and I run this again, okay. Um, it doesn't change. I go back to my original design. One of the things we can do if we hit this wrench and do some specific settings. Well, what happens if we main the tip circle when we change the profile shift? Okay, let's do that. Right now, the tip circle, you can see it here is 13.91991. If I make this back to 0 0.4336, it's going to change this to own input because I'm holding that, that blank. <coughs> so I say OK. If I go here, you see this changed from um, a set reference profile to own input. I run this again and you can see that it pulled the cutter out because it changed the the root diameter and it changed the tooth thickness uh, but it kept the same diameter 13.991 okay if I go back to zero again and I run this and I say you know what I want to hold I want to maintain the the root circle as well Okay, I might get a warrant. I might not even do it because of how far it's got to go. But if I zip 0 0.4336, unusual per, uh, parameters. So it's telling me the root diameter or this root radius has to change. It can't be this 0.3, it has to go to 0 0.246. Uh, it also tells me I still have an undercut and I need to really increase the shift coefficient. That's what it looks like. So somehow. We were going to side shave. We call, I would call this like a side shave, where we keep the 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 uh, 
the hob or the, the cutter um, at zero basically we're not plunging it in or out what we're doing is we're we're moving it to the side now, we can't do that here very well because we're actually making the tooth thicker so we have to have a special cutter probably okay interestingly enough if I take that off let's say we go back to this reference profile it changed this dedendum coefficient because originally we were at this 1.25.38 1.25 and a 1 so it actually redesigned the whole cutter uh, or the gear profile based on holding the tip and the root at the same diameter okay we go back to the original design and we're back here some people are wondering uh, and, and this came up. Well, what happens in my uh, if I if I do my tolerances and I expect this to be, you know, right here at this uh, ten point one seven seven six root radius, you know, based on my profile shift, and then I go in here and I give it a root diameter tolerance. Okay. Well, if I give it a root diameter tolerance, I'm basically holding the root diameter again um, to this diameter. 10.1776 and now when I do this um, let's just give it a plus minus let's give it um, 0 0.05 minus 0 0.05 tolerance range right now if I run this again I don't think I'm gonna see much difference here oh it brought it up I want this double arrow 10.3172 and 10.4172. If I if I declick that, I'm at 10.1776, and this is the root diameter allowance. This is based on the cutter, okay? So when the cutter come out, these are the tolerances that it's giving um, for that diameter. Now if I click this on and I don't change those. Nothing changes, right? But if I try then and hold this plus or minus some some value, it's going to change this because now it's pulling it off of where the um, the profile shift would have naturally put that cutter. Okay, and the same thing with the tip when we put tip diameter allowance on here. When we when we put the tip diameter allowance, basically we're we're holding this diameter then op, you know at some different value than what the cutter would normally provide. The other thing I want to mention, you have these two thickness tolerances here, and you have an own input. And there's ways that you can adjust these two thicknesses here. Uh, one of the ways is you can define a two thickness allowance, plus or minus, whatever it might be. You can give it a, a backlash. You can click any of these. This double arrow right here is a convert button, and you can define two thickness here. Okay, 1.79, that's what it is right now. If I don't click on this root diameter allowance, if I turn this off, and I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that chart, I'm gonna make it green, dark green. Also gonna make it dashed. Yeah. And I'm gonna give it a one here. So here's my existing tooth profile. If I change this backlash. Or this two thickness right here this is the chordal you can do it uh, you can click this box and make it as an arc length and let's say I want this to be thinner and it looks like I got about 0 0.03 tolerance there so let's make this eight zero let's make this seven five let's just make that seven seven and now I run this again you see how my two thickness allowance changed from zero Okay, I accept this, and now when I run it, look, my my radius, my root radius diameter, or my root diameter is smaller now than what it was before, because guess what? I got to plunge the cutter in, in order to to get that 
two thickness that I want. All right. If I don't want that two thickness, and I don't want that diameter to change, I can simply just click on this here. Now let's let me turn that off quick. We're going to go back to this. It was a CD25, which is a which is what it normally is. So this is if I run this, it'll go right back to what that was right there. If I click on this root diameter uh, allowance, and then I change this to own input, I don't even have to do that. I can just click on this double arrow. And I go here and I make this 75, 77, 80, sorry, 77. And then I calculate it and accept it, run it. Uh, it tells me now I have an undercut. But my diameter doesn't change, see? Because I'm holding it to the original profile shift diameter. And what effectively I'm doing is I'm side cutting or side shaving these gears to get the the, uh, the tooth tolerance that I want. So it's kind of, there's a couple places to do it. And you might want to do this at the very end. Maybe you set your your root diameter allowance, maybe you don't. Maybe you let the manufacturer decide what that root diameter is going to end up. But this is why when, when you think that something should be a certain way and you've got these you've got these uh, boxes toggled over here in the tolerance tab, you might be seeing some, some things that aren't intuitive. The other thing that we can do is we could change this over from a reference to a constructed involute. So now there's no gear at all involved. It'll convert it. So it converted it. Here's my root radius, and I run this. Now you can see that um, I don't have an undercut here. I just have um, a, a, an involute that comes down, and then there's no trochoid like this green line. There's just a, a radius on the bottom. So this this involute would come straight down. Uh, right here, it would be the uh, the base circle, and then it would come straight down and then round out. So now I can even I can maximize this with the size value but i don't have to worry about undercut now because that's gone because everything is gone and if i really wanted to i can go in here to diameter right and i can move this diameter anywhere that i want note in the tolerance i don't i, ha I don't have these uh, values here but now if i wanted to if i made this an even value 0 0.05 and minus 0 0.05 It brings it up to the to the uh, original diameter, and now the profile shift that we had defined over here is not taken into account as far as the plunge depth. So there's multiple ways to do it. If you have questions, go ahead and call um, or email me at ty.warner at kissoft.com, and uh, you know we can talk about this, or you, or you know if you have examples you want to see. Otherwise, that's just a quick kind of overview of profile shift and holding the tip and the root tolerancing and how you can side shave and kind of some of the reasons why things are not always intuitive on the root diameter or the tip diameter when you're designing your gears. So incidentally, I would you'd probably use this constructed involute with powder metal gears and plastic gears. Um, there's, there's lots of different nuances here. We didn't even talk about the manufacturing stuff. I just really want to talk about why you might see different values for the for the root diameter versus the uh, you know profile shift. And you know you think it should be one thing, and then you make a change in the tolerance tab. And if you hold these allowances, you're going to see something uh, different than what you thought you should ex you know expect to see from the original report. So again, it's Ty Warner with. Kiss off tech support, Gleason, Tyka Engineering. Um, email with questions or get a hold of Brian Stringer or myself, and we can uh, walk you through some of this stuff if you got uh, if there's any confusion. Gears are tough; takes a long time to learn them, but hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for watching.